In this video, you will learn more about Ethereum 2.0 staking rewards. Can the yearly staking reward drop to 1%? Now, this is a video response to a fantastic question that Ray's DF asked me in a previous video. Hey, I was looking into purchasing 32 Ethereums. Will the yearly yield ever decline? And let's assume the yearly yield is 5%. Can the yearly yield ever drop to 1%? So what a great question. Thanks again for asking, let's dive right into it and answer it. Let's start with an overview which will help you visualize the relation between the amount of ETH stake, the amount of annual ETH issuance, the network inflation and the annual reward weight for validators. Now as you can see the highest annual staking reward rate for validators is at 18% when 1 million ETH is staked. And the lowest staking reward is at 1.81% when 100 million ETH is staked. The inflation is a sliding scale based on the total staked amount. So if the total amount of staked ETH is low, then the max annual issuance of Ethereum is also low. But the max annual reward rate for validators is a lot higher. So the return on investment is much higher. To answer your question, in the unlikely case that 100 million Ethereum gets locked up, the staking reward for validators is still at 181%. And I believe that's still a quite good return on investment, especially when hedging against inflation. And in my opinion, it is highly unlikely that more than 90% of the total circulating supply of Ethereum gets locked up through staking. However, should it happen, then this will have a very positive impact on the price of Ethereum. This means that the more ETH is locked up in staking, the less ETH is available to be bought, which means less supply. And if the demand stays the same, that means that the price of Ethereum goes up. If anyone else has some questions about blockchain, Ethereum or so on, feel free to leave them in the comments that section down below. I'll try and answer each and every one of those. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.